On my mama man size 16 is hard to cop. It's boat kicks. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Bo Kicks. Back with another unboxing here. Again, on my Reebok hype. Excuse me. Um, Y'all should know by the title what this is. Uh, paying homage to one of the greatest players of all time. AI Allen Iverson. Yes, practice. One of his OG colorways for his debut sneaker with Reebok. The question is, before he was the answer, was the question, okay? Let's go ahead and take this out. Let's see how many. No, I didn't. Damn. Okay. Okay. Some way I might have, but um, no need for this, of course. So get that out of there. Yes. I was pretty juiced about these. Um, apparently, they did not sell out. I was kind of surprised. Again, I think this was available in higher than 15, so, uh, yeah, or it might not have been. It's funny, some releases just up till 15, some go up higher. This I got in the 15, I've been used to it. The, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I've been used to it now. The fit is, is kind of nice. I can, like, with the soles in, the insoles in, it's fine to me. Let's go ahead and pull them out. Pack is not as premium as uh, what they did for the damn hardness. And Reebok forever. Sorry about the noise, y'all. Keep that out of the way. Okay. Um, Reebok forever hitting us with wrapping the damn shoe up hella much. I mean, that's alright, but no, it's not actually. Stop doing that, everybody. You know what I mean? <laughs> the shoe's fine. Um, yeah. Let's take a little quick look, but going into some history with this again. His first um, silhouette, the question mid, um, the OG colorways for this being the all white with the red toe, the all white with the blue toe. Oops, damn near dropped it. Fumble Raiders. No offense. Anyways, um, but the red and the blue toe, man. Uh, what we got at retail was pearlized. Uh, what I've heard about this pair, the suede red toe, is that they made a limited amount of numbers. It was kind of like a, a sample thing before they actually went to retail. And when Iverson was testing it out, it was a story that um, the pairs that had the red toe on it made his, uh, his toe bleed. In actuality, the story got convoluted as it, it, you know, as it travels, extras get added to shit. So really what it was is the suede that was on the sample pair um, after he finished the game, you know, sweat and everything, uh, the suede bled and it bled onto his socks, making it look like his toes were bleeding. So, did it bleed? Yes, it, ble it, it was bleeding. But the ink was bleeding onto his socks. No, not a real big deal. I'm sure they perfected it now. Uh, but that's how we get the story of the bleeding toe and the absence of the suede red toe originally. Uh, fast forward to 2020. 
and they hook us up and go ahead and give us a pair of these. Um, the, the leather doesn't feel horrible, but it's nothing like that. That Harden, Iverson, Question Man, OG meets OG, which I, I kind of didn't expect that. You know what I mean? Uh, but I, I expected something a little bit better as far as the suede on the toe. This is more like a new book, so I don't know why they call it the suede toe. I heard somebody else talk about that too. Um, I think it was Chris from Wear Testers. Go to, go check him out, man. If you want like super detail on pairs, especially the question, um, this dude's been collecting for a long time. Also, um, my homeboy, me and my kicks, uh, a vast, he's like a computer when it comes to questions, and Iversons in general. This pair, I can look at it and see there's a few flaws on it. Um, but other than that, with story time, um, another thing people try to say was this was the pair that Iverson crossed Jordan up in. No, it ain't, bro. Good line. This ain't the, the pair. The actual pair, it was, actually, it was a question he wore, but it was a blue toe question. You know what I mean? Obviously, pearlized. It wasn't no suede. So, but this was the silhouette that he did uh, cross Jordan up in. And, you know, for that alone, that's still a fire, fire pair for somebody who's a sneaker collection collector. I think part of it is being uh, us having heroes attached to some of these sneakers too. It's not always. Sometimes it's you know because I don't buy every athlete who I got love for. I don't buy all they they shoes. Some of them is trash. What uh, Bobby say? Bobby sneakers. What he say? Some of them is cheeks. Okay. We ain't rocking with the cheeks, but this right here, okay, with the exception of Bo Bay, you won't find too many people that say this silhouette is trash. In fact, this and the answer ones, I believe they're called, some of the best shoes um, as far as uh, design. Uh, I don't know, I can't say performance, but just design, uh, color blocking just like where they stand in my personal list some of the best shoes ever i would put them top 20 definitely the question in the original answer i would have to put in a top 20 of dope shoes i'm sorry i don't know where y'all put but i would anyway enough of that um and also you know you got to give it to him he did cross jordan ass up you know but I, I do want to say it's not like a, a shameful thing. You got to big up Jordan for constantly taking on any challengers. You know what I'm saying? So one cross up, and that's the one highlight we always go to of AI crossing that nigga up. But, you know, <laughs> uh, if you compete, they probably, especially in the East, they playing each other often. You know, I, that might have been uh, Jordan's last season or maybe two seasons prior. I think that might have been his last. I think AI and Kobe and all of them came in the same year. I don't, I don't remember for sure, but I think he played them one year and then they met up in an all-star game and everybody had a good time sending them on his way until he came back as a wizard for Washington. So I think that's how that played out. Nonetheless, it's dope when you get to uh, play with your hero, somebody you grew up, you know, um, just idolizing, really. Let's be honest. With him and Kobe. So, anyway, to the shoe. Starting with the bottom sole, translucent blue sole, which I've heard these don't yellow. I can't see a yellow one. This is a dope, bright blue, translucent sole. Fire. You know what I'm saying? That's dope to me. The Reebok written in that red, the vector symbol written in that red, and you can see it because it's translucent, it has a huge vector symbol underneath. That's dope. Again, the window for the hexalite bubble right there on the bottom. Uh, I'm definitely on Groundhog's Day. It's been a lot of questions in the last couple months for me. Rolling up to the mid, so overall white, but it kind of looks off white. It don't look like cocaine white coke boys baby it don't look like that shout out french montana shout out chicks rp anyway um 
the hex light here. It's not painted over like sometimes you see the hex light is, but white is just a nice clear hex light. I don't know if that's accurate to what the OGs were, the OG sway toe, which we didn't get anyway, so who cares? Uh, white all up on the, the upper of the shoe. Vector symbol right here in this panel. You got a red vector symbol with blue trim around that. That's fire. Uh, red lace locks that read Reebok going down. That's dope to me too. Rolling around to the toe. Bam. Neoprene red toe. Toe box. I like how the translucent rolls up to the tip there. That's fire to me. Uh, the laces going up. White laces. Blue little speckle, you know, highlights on there. Fire. Probably won't be changing these laces out, but they do come with a white spare that's kind of hidden away, tucked away. You can see that on the top layer here. That's some items that do. Shout out me and my case again for letting me know that. Um, mesh predominantly on the tongue. And then at the tip of the tongue, leather with again that red vector symbol with blue trim. Fire. Um, the medial. You can see a bunch of vector symbols on these eyelets or adlets or lace loops, whatever you want to call them. Everything else pretty much the same. Vector symbol, bam. Rolling to the back of the shoe. Stitched white question logo. Stitched number three with blue stitching around that. And is this way it is. The new buck is also down there too. Fire touch. Um, in reviewing the hardens, okay, this was just painted on the Harden logo. You know, to see they put not only the new buck, but also stitching, I mean, that's fire. Okay, back here also the red new buck, fire. The only thing probably that's shitty about this pair is the white sock liner. Um, and that's a done kind of like a cotton material. The Harden's had like a nylon slick. I don't know what color I, they could have put inside. Maybe the blue. That would have been fire. Like a blue nylon. But then the shoe wasn't made that way originally. So, you know. These are dope, man. These are fire. Tell me what y'all think in the comment section. Uh, historically, where do you think Alan Iverson fits? as far as the top greatest player of all time. I think regardless of a championship, you gotta give it to a man. Um, we was lucky to be able to see him in many stages of his career. Ultimately, I do feel like um, they dogged him out. And he should have been able to exit the game the way he wanted to. So, uh, towards the end, I think what Memphis, I don't know if he went back to the 76ers, but I, I feel like, I hope he did, I, I don't remember. I hope he did, and I hope they sent him out with a little bit of respect because there was dog on the again, saying he couldn't win. It reminds me of what's going on with Carmelo Anthony. Funny enough, that was the first team that AI uh, went to after he left. The 76ers was uh, the Denver Nuggets with Carmelo. So some of these players get that stigma, man, that they're like, you can't win with them. It's kind of like, uh, like I said, with Melo. And then another guy that they're saying that with now is uh, uh, Russell Westbrook. So, uh, thank y'all for watching the video. Hopefully, the B-roll is screaming at you. Um, until the next question mid, I guess. Also, I, I do want to uh, note, too, that there are some flaws on this pair. Nothing major. I'm going to see, like, actually, my uh, one pair of the Harden questions had have more flaws on it than this pair does, so I'm not mad at it. You know, I don't, I don't expect the shoe to be perfect. I just don't expect it. It's gotta be wearable, damn it. Anyways, other than that, it's your boy Bo Kicks, and I'm